uh, this problem leads a discrete time signal x of n which is shown in this figure is uh, the question now reads sketch and label i think we are repeating this mistake uh, sketch and label the following signal which is the x of n plus 2 d of n so having said that we can see this is a discrete sequence and uh, there are some few facts that we need to remember how we define an impulse uh, sequence that is defined by delta of n and it is normally said that it is going to be equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 and 0 when n is not equal to 0. The other point we want to remember is that the sequence represented by delta of n minus k will be equal to 1 when n is equal to k and will be 0 otherwise. So having said these few concepts, then we can now relate them with regard to our uh, expression uh, here. So how do we do that? We say now that we know that uh, we can express again x of n uh, multiplied with delta of n as a, as a multiplication of the value of x of n at 0 when n is equal to 0 multiplied by delta of n. So this is a known fact that uh, when we have this multiplication, x of n multiplied by the impulse uh, sequence of n, then we are going to, this is equivalent to the value of uh, x at 0 multiplied by the value of uh, delta of n at, uh, at n, which is, again, this is before n will be only be, be having a value when uh, n is equal to 0. So we are, that is a very important factor that once we understand that, then we can be able to relate our equation here uh, to this form. Therefore, what we are going to be saying, there's another one that probably we are also going to introduce, that when you have x of n multiplied with delta of n minus k, this can be equated to x of k multiplied by delta of n minus k. So again, this will give us a value of 1, when n is equals to, to k. So that is important. So once we have got the value of k, uh, n is equals to k, then we can be able to evaluate the value of k. So now this is almost now equivalent to what we require here. And uh, what we now see is the following. That now we have this equation, x of n plus 2 multiplied by delta of n. We can just do a very simple uh, manipulation where we say let n plus 2, this one be equals to m. And therefore, our n, which is now here, will be equals to m minus 2, which we just want to replace uh, this one to be the form that is in, the, in the, this equation uh, here, so that we can now be able to express it in this form. So once we have uh, done that, then our equation takes the form. This becomes x of m. So this comes here, x of m, because n plus 2 is equals to m and n will be replaced with m minus 2 and therefore we can simply say now from this equation that uh, this will become k, k is our 2 now and therefore this will be equivalent to x of 2 multiplied with delta of m minus 2 and we again we know that this will give us a 1 when at m is equals to m is equal to 2 because we require this value here in the bracket to be equivalent to 0. So we are saying that it will give us a 1. Then we are only going to be left with the value of x of 2. So what are we saying therefore? That x of 2 we can check from our, 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 our diagram here. x of 2 is simply uh, is, x of 2 is simply 2. So this 2 here. This is 2, this is 1. So once we have seen that uh, x of 2 is 2, then we can simply uh, say that uh, that's our that's equation. And since we are, we are saying that we are multiplying with a 1 when m is equal to 2, then we can simply say that this is our final value. Or I, I'm just putting it down here that uh, this is now going to be 2 multiplied by d f o m uh, minus 2. I think we can ignore this bit for now. But we know that uh, this is what I'm, I'm just repeating what I already said earlier, 
that will be equals to one when m is equals to k. Therefore, we are going to be saying that when m is equals to two, then we are going to have a value there. So we are going to get this value giving us a one. And once we get that one, we can say this is again a one here. And therefore, we are going to find the final value is simply going to be um, a two, and that two will be at uh, at n. will be at m is equals to 2. Here I've just figured out I've done a mistake because at m is equals to 2 is equals to, we have said m, m is equals to n plus 2. So when we equate this one to 2, which we have found here, then we are saying that we are going to ask ourselves what will be the value of n. And you can simply say n will be equals to zero. Therefore, here I am actually moving this figure from here. It's supposed to be at n is equals to zero because it's one, this is two. If you put our three there and negative one here, then you're saying that the value of x of n will be two at m is equals to two, which is equivalent to n is equals to zero. So I am now putting my my dot there, and that is where we have our uh, our value. That is how we can present it. So I'm actually rubbing this one like that. Okay.